Hey, what's going on, guys? Gokuzami here, uh, coming at you with another deck profile. I got cooked today at locals in uh, the final round. This is the man, the myth, the legend, Michael West. What deck did you bring today? I brought Gunkin Suship with a bit of Sprite and a little bit of Bistrial. Oh, uh, you got some soda on the side with those sushis? Soda on the side with the sushi. All right, let's get into it. So obviously you play the three Sharis. That's normal in the game. That's normal. And then you play the three Shari Reds. I play three of the Ikara, two of the Shiaru, and then I play three of the Uni. Okay. I then play for the sprite package, I play one blue, two jet, one carrot, one pixie, and then two reds. Why two red? Um, it's more just like to have another name. Uh, it's one of the first side out cards along with uh, one of these and one of these. Uh, we have a guaranteed side out for three for say like a DD Crow or two Regeki and um, a book of uh, Eclipse. Uh, we play two Ash. Yep. For Pan Trap, two Beast Shields. Or, yep. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just like, <laughs> I'm remembering. This Magnum will ruin my day today. <laughs> ruin, ruin your day. Uh, okay. I was living that turn if not for him. Play the one uh, Call by the Grave, the one Sprite Gamma Burst, the one Sushi Field Spell, the other Sprite Smashers, one Piercing the Darkness. For draw power? For draw power and, you know, if it has, uh, if the XYZ monsters have a normal monster attached to them, it um, kind of becomes like an honest. Mm -hmm. Uh, we play two unexpected die for the um, Shari. Then we play the three sprite starters. And then we play three uh, painful decisions for getting these guys out. And then second hand trap slash trap card is just two imperm. So uh, I know about it, but explain for the people at home what painful decision does for the deck. So painful decision says send a vanilla. Uh, level four lower monsters to the graveyard and then add one with the same name. So I can either add the regular Shari or I can add the Shari Red because when it's in the deck, graveyard, hand, or field, it is considered this card. So there's like two spots that it's not considered, which allow it means you can play all three. Which means if you see if you see the normal monster and paper for decision, it's a two-card combo. It's a two-card combo. Interesting. It's always a two-card combo. And this is 40? This is a 40 card deck, yes. All right. Cool. Uh, is there anything you would change about the deck? Um, uh, I need to experiment, experiment one more with the ratios here for this, these two. Um, maybe even this one, take out one more. Uh, I really don't want to see this one too often, and I don't want to see more than one of these in my hand at a time. It makes it a little more bricky. I mean, you kind of suffer with that with the, uh, the sous ships. They just don't have as many good effects as you'd like to see in current meta format, and that's kind of why I had to splash in some meta cards like the Sprite and the Bestial. Um, it's just been a, an uphill battle for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> every week for the every, past every, like, every, what, like four, four months? Four months ever since uh, Power of the Element came out. It's yeah. been an uphill battle <laughs> trying to figure out what the heck I need to do here. So then for the extra deck. Yeah, you have been on that grind set mindset. Like, <laughs> for a while. Only thing I've played, except for like one week I went for... Uh, what was it? Exo uh, no, no, Exodia. Um, relinquished, and I just got mopped. I remember that. Yeah. That's, that makes me sad. Cool deck. So for the extra deck, I play two of each of the um, XYZs. I play two of the... Um, what's this one? Uniclash Dreadnought. And then I play two of the... Sh Shiru? Shiru class carrier. And then of the... Uh, Ikara dra uh, Dreadnought. Um, so is this it for the sous ships? This is it for the sous ships. That's all they have, and there's no reason to play any more than these six. Okay. Um, 
unless you're playing a pure sprite build and then you might add, or sorry, pure Gunkin build, then you're going to add, I guess, as many as you can. That way you have as many targets as you possibly can. Um, for these two, I go with this guy um, just to give me that extra negate. You go, if you're going first, you go for these two to get the draw power and then you just get the monster negate and the um, protection. Um, for two just generic link twos or uh, overlays, I go with a Babushka and then a Dweller to best cards in the game. Just for to, real, yeah, you know, just to take care of um, Tear Lament, and then this hurts Tear Lament, Sword Soul, um, any other uh, was Turia. Mm -hmm. Turia saw some of those today. Uh, and we just go with the one Zeus, just because you can swing with one of these and then just Zeus the board if you really have no other out. This one attacks directly, so that makes it really good for that. Then for just the small sprite package, we just go with the two um, Gigantics and then the uh, two Elves. Okay, and makes sense. And sprite's pretty standard. You just and the only time you get locked is Gigantic and Starter, right? Like there's gigantic no other restrictions starters. that like no, conflict with the nothing, engines? Nothing that conflicts. You, you go for your sous ship stuff first, um, bait out whatever else because, I mean, just the small sprite package alone is enough to get rid of a board just about. Okay. So you, you bait out stuff or just go with this, get more draws, hopefully draw into something to help, help a start um, a sprite play or maybe just a board breaker of some kind that you're just trying to find. Um, for the extra deck? Yep. Or the side, side deck. Side deck, yep. Uh, get the sushi out of here. <laughs> I'm sick of it, bro. <laughs> so the 3DD Crow for. Just everything, really. Everything, really. So many things just rely on the graveyard, especially tier. I get it. I was experimenting with this. This just did not help. Like, I rely <laughs> on my normal summon too much, and I was thinking, you know what? Maybe this will help me, you know, go through my whole play, and it just never came up. Or I'm when just, it did, I drew both of them. I'm happy you didn't drop it on me. <laughs> like, for if you did, if you dropped Fossil that at me, I might have cried. For real. Yeah, for real. Um... So there's those for the monsters, that's all I run. Um, the one Harpy, uh, two Regeki. I was main decking one Regeki and one Harpy just for the power, but it's like I'd rather go with a play to start with instead of seeing the... It's a better side card because you want to see as much consistency as possible. I want to see as much consistency as possible for this. And then if I know I'm going to go second, which is most likely, I will side in these or maybe even okay. these. Like, um, That's Sam Jerome's, bro. You hungry? You interrupted the deck profile for some fucking food? <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Go, cousin. Mr. Innovation right here, cuz. Oh, yo. <laughs> the innovator. The innovator. So, unspeakable quiz. Riz. It's a good just side deck card. It hurts everyone because there's there's a very few decks out there that will actually negate a spell card. If that's the first thing you pull, you book their whole field and you can just go about your day doing your plays or if you get lucky like I did today and draw the Book of Eclipse so, and Regeki two card combo right there. That's crazy. Why not Swords of Concealing Light? Um, I just haven't been messing around with it. Honestly, that may be a better choice. I just like the utility of this one a little bit better because I, it's Swords, swords of Continuous, right? Yeah, it's a Continuous. It lasts for like two standby phases after you activate it. Yeah, I like the, Two of your standby phases. Yeah. That's important. The first, I think this one's a little more versatile though because I can just set this as a quick play and if they break my board or something else comes up, I can just like, alright, whole board. All my stuff's in defense position now mm -hmm. and I can just kind of like hope for the best on that part. It's kind of like a, kind of a... Alright, is uh, out there. anything I, else? I got it. Two cosmic cyclones. I might side these out because I'm. No, no, keep them in. Keep them in. Uh, back them removal. In. You're always at like a regional or locals. You're gonna run into rogue eventually, mm -hmm. and you're gonna see backward decks. It's just it, it happens. Yep. Is that three evenly best card in the game? Yep, three evenly. Okay, well maybe you could take them out if you have evenly. Yeah, that's. There's an argument for. It. I can see that. Evenly is a better card. Evenly honestly. and harpies. Yeah, evenly and harpies. Those are good. Um, so it's kind of like. Do I really want to? I mean, this one is more versatile than this one. I am a really big heavy hitter going for that damage. That's kind of what I rely on. So the evenly does hurt, but it also might just be my only salvation. Yeah, it's a crazy-ass card. So 
that's about it there. I don't know what to do with these, but you can just take them out, put in anything else. Uh, I could give you some suggestions after this, but uh, any final words, any shout outs you want to give? Um, shout out to, uh, I don't remember your tag. But oh, my tag? Yeah, it's Go Kazemi. Yeah, Go Kazemi here. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. He's been helping me out with this deck, honestly, for a long time. I've been brainstorming with him for a good bit. Um, I, I got it. cooked today. You got cooked today. Your, all your help. Simple cooked, as. Cooked, cooked simple yourself. as. Got cooked. cooked yourself. <laughs> got cooked by the sushi chef. Oh, no. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right. Unless you want me to like explain like what these do. Here. Oh, I, I mean, could think of maybe nothing else that I would not want. Like, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I could not want that less. All right. All right. See you guys. Yeah.